guys welcome to another video today we're gonna install our solar panel we got a 100 watt uh, energy flexible uh, solar panel and uh, we are after stilt uh, camper and so uh, we're gonna use uh, the flat flexible solar panel and I'm gonna use this uh, t-tracks uh, to mount them onto uh, in order to do that, I'm going to use this uh, VHB tape and uh, I'm going to install the T-track onto the roof. So come on, let's go on the roof and uh, start doing this project. So we're in the roof now and uh, as you can see, we already installed the T-tracks using the tape I mentioned earlier. And uh, we're going to go ahead and attach this uh, flat solar panel onto this uh, tracks using uh, nuts and bolts which are stainless and there are number I'm going to use the number uh, 1224 uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, do that now so I ran the bolts and nuts through the t-tracks and I'm ready to put on the solar panel onto the rack So the solar panel installation is complete. As you can see, it's a very thin uh, setup and it'll be pretty hard to see the solar panels from the street level. And so uh, it's a pretty easy uh, process. And the uh, next step is to uh, make a pilot home from the inside so I could uh, install the waterproof box for the cables to go through. Okay, here we go. We're gonna make a hole in our van. The scary part. The entrance hall is ready. I painted it with the touch-up uh, appliances, uh, touch-up paint. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue this waterproof box onto here. So I could run the solar cables through it and uh, go inside the van. And, uh, well, there's one more step uh, I wanted to show you before I mount this. And uh, let me show you that. This is another product I'm going to use. I'm going to use a plastic grommet for the hole I just made. And the purpose for that is, uh, as you can see, this is a nice uh, flexible plastic. And I'm going to put it in through the hole. So when I run my cables, they won't be exposed to the sharp metal that I just cut. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so now that uh, we have our solar panel in place on the top of the roof, uh, we need to figure out a way to run the cables through uh, this uh, waterproof box. This is the last step. I'm gonna install this uh, box right on top here. I'm gonna run the cables through that. So we could uh, go ahead and uh, go inside and do the wiring on the inside. So, Let's get at it. Okay, the installation of the waterproof box is done. And uh, pretty much uh, the project uh, is uh, complete on top of the roof. So the next step is to uh, go down in the van and uh, do the wiring and do the connections. I did use a waterproof uh, sealant uh, around the box. It's a big mess, but uh, I'd rather, you know, for it to be waterproof than pretty. 
Nobody's going to look up here. And then I'm going to use uh, tape to push down this uh, cable so they won't show. And uh, pretty much uh, we're done on the roof. So let's go in the van and uh, start the wiring process. Let's go. Okay, so here's a look from the inside of the van. And this is how I ran the cables from the outside. Okay, these are the solar cables. And it's gonna hook up to the Jackery power station and into our fuse and switch box over there so I could run my devices. And so all I have to do today is uh, to go ahead and make the connections. Just uh, I'm gonna connect the cables and uh, it's gonna be a pretty quick and uh, easy process. And these are the tools I'm gonna be using. Not much to it. And so let's get at it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, to go ahead and uh, strip the cables, the end of the cables here. And uh, so I could hook them up to the other cables that uh, come from the roof. And uh, I have marked the positive cable with the green tape. And on this side, I have the positive input MC4 cable. And so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to try to strip this uh, wire. And uh, a little disclaimer, uh, I'm not an electrician. And uh, I've never done this before. This is the first time I'm attempting anything like this. So you need to do your own research. And... Uh, don't listen to anything I say. This, uh, the purpose of this video is uh, for entertainment only. And uh, this is uh, just a hobby of mine. I'm just playing around. I'm not doing anything seriously. So I've never done this before. And I'm uh, learning as I go. Okay. And so it doesn't look like uh, the outer casing is cutting with this uh, uh, stripper that I have and so I think I'm going to use something else to uh, do this with okay so let's go ahead and try it with a knife okay I'd like to do the positive side first just to stay positive now, the reason I'm making this video is to show everybody that if I could do this, anybody could do it. Because I'm no expert in electrical or actually I'm not an expert in anything. I just do it. I just do it and I try to make it easy. I don't try to uh, make things uh, complicated. All right. So I just uh, live and learn, like I said, and uh, I uh, learn from uh, making those mistakes. Okay, so we might make a mistake, so what? We go back to it and uh, we'll fix it if we can. If not, then uh, we just uh, pay for somebody to do it for us, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, I hope you could see all this in the shot. So. This is a pretty nice little sharp knife. I recommend uh, you guys use a exacto knife or a very sharp knife for this project.
Okay, so we got connection from the roof, from the outside, uh, from the solar panel into the van. And I made the connections here, the cable connections. And uh, I have this uh, adapter that uh, goes from the positive to negative of this cable, which came from the roof. And it has an Anderson input for my Jackery power station. At this point, I think we're all hooked up and uh, we're going to have to uh, go and uh, find the sun and uh, test it out. So stay tuned. Okay, so our solar panel installation project is done. It took uh, three days and that's because uh, as soon as I started this project, it started raining in LA, which is uh, rare. It never rains in LA. But anyways, it took me three days to do it. and. Uh, you know, it's completed and uh, today we have a sunny day and I'm hooked up to my Jackery from the solar panel on the roof. And so uh, let's go inside and see what kind of charge we're getting today. Come on in. Okie dokie guys, here it is. The Jackery Power Station 1000 lives in this closet. And uh, here's the setup. These are the cables I was uh, doing earlier, and uh, it comes from the roof. It's a little messy right now. I have to figure out a way to organize and hide this cable. And uh, this is the switch box and the fuse box up here. This is where I'm going to hook up my uh, electrical devices. And uh, let's see what kind of juice we're getting today from the solar system. All right, looks like uh, we're getting 50 watt input. All right. So this completes our uh, solar panel installation, guys. Took me three days to do it. There's a switchboard over here. I already hooked up some lights, which I could control from here on and off. We got the USB outputs. And uh, we also have a cigarette lighter output. And the lights are put over my kitchenette here. All right, those are the lights. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and install all my other electrical devices, like fan and uh, a refrigerator maybe. I love my Yeti cooler but uh, I would like to get one of those uh, 12 volt refrigerator so I don't have to deal with ice okay folks so this concludes our uh, video of uh, solar panel installation into the Jackery system uh, I really hope you enjoyed watching and if you really did enjoy watching and you liked it, uh, go ahead and hit the like button. And uh, if you have any questions, contact me. Let's become friends and share experiences and uh, moments. And uh, also I'm gonna add all the parts that I use for this project in the description. Uh, again, I really hope you enjoyed it. Stay healthy. It's almost 2022. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas and all that. Happy Holidays and uh, you guys have a great time and we'll talk soon.